Welcome everybody to another episode in Ruben's Amazing World. And where today, let me sh start off by showing you all the progress I made throughout the long time of me not recording Minecraft Windows. Well, let me get, let me just get you pretty much updated with what's going on in life. So pretty much. I recorded a, a few episodes on my on my world, of course, uh -huh. and then all the things disappeared for no apparent reason. So I I made maybe t at least two videos, one going to the Nether, which really wasn't that good, and one about fixing the, updating this thingy. But I can update you all in just a few minutes. It probably doesn't even matter that much. And you know what? I'm gonna even explain how this contract this brand new updated zombie uh, fixer upper healer upper thingy works so pretty much I added a brand new thingy where I had to get onto the roof break this block and up to the under this block right here is a trap door you open the trap door and, it, and the zombie pops in instead of having to hassle around and having to open the door and then having the other zombie that might be in here and you know it, it gets chaotic Anyways, I, so you you want to heal the zombie, okay? Once you heal him, he turns into a villager. Now usually I would have to open the door and push him inside it, and that would be pretty annoying. But now you just more easily put a minecart down. He travels all the way over here, where it's safe and sound for him, where no zombies can get in. He goes through here where the mi where somebody with a minecart could easily go through, but a zombie can't or a baby zombie. And once I can, I can easily just open the door, break the minecart, and get outside and put the minecart back and reset it for the next uh, zombie villager. So yeah, I explained that in just a few minutes, and that video actually lasted quite a while. But either way, so what have what have I been trying to do in life in Minecraft? So pretty much, I wanted to fight the wizard. Okay, I I, I even got a wizard skull. And my another video, which wasn't that good to begin, uh, begin with again, but either way, we got ourselves another weird skull, so we got two in total, okay? And that was all good and dandy, correct? Uh -huh. Well, out of the nowhere, out of the nowhere, and 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 the update 1.0.8, wizard skeleton stopped respawning for some reason. They wanted, uh, how how did the Mojang person say? It? Oh yeah, they can't uh, reproduce, and I don't know what what I don't know if he's gonna fix it or not. I mean, the 1.1 update came out, and I went to check if there's any more widow skulls, and they're still not there. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go in there maybe after the episode just to check again if they reproduce or go to another another fortress that I actually found, and that uh, that itself doesn't even have widow skeletons either, so which kind of stinks really badly. But hopefully they'll fix the bug soon. If they have, if they already have, then that's great. If they haven't, then ho hopefully they'll fix that soon. Anyways, so n since my whole withers wither boss fighting thingy has been uh, well not cancelled but delayed for a while, and now that the new updates came out, well I wanted to try out and fight the new mobs and try to find myself a woodland mansion. Now, finding a wooden mansion in this humongous infinite world is pretty rare. Pretty rare into bumping into one. So, my main mission today is to try to heal as many village, zombie villagers like this one right here I got. And hopefully sooner or later I'll get a villager that is a cartographer. And that's a brand new type of villager that came out in this update. Which makes maps and all that good stuff. Now, usually they ha uh, the cartographers usually make are usually in white clothes like this this one right here. So hopefully I got myself a cartographer. Now there's a possibility that I also got the librarian, but there's always two hoping. Now the sun is half halfway, so I think it's best to have I go ahead and start making myself some potions and the golden apples. All I need to start healing these villagers these zombie villagers if I find it anymore. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and make myself some more potions. It's, it's pretty easy, if you wanna see how it's done then let's, let's, let's do it together then, alright? Alright. 
So very much you go in, you pretty much wanna go in let me just go inside here. So you got yourself I got myself zero potions ready, so pretty much I'm gonna make a brand new batch. So pretty much you wanna make some bottles, of course, if you didn't know that already. And you wanna get yourself this glass and make it like this. And there you go, you got yourself some potions. Pretty easy, correct? This should be all basic elementary to you people. Unless you're you're brand new to this game and want a little, little tutorial, huh? So you want to go in here, put these potions in here, pretty easy. Get yourself some nether wall. Now the formats for these potions are pretty easy, probably easier than my fire resistance potions. Here we go. So you'll need wither wall, you'll need some gunpowder. And you'll need some, let's see where they are, I have some around here somewhere. You need some fermented spider eyes, which I can't find, I can only find normal spider eyes. But I do know I have a, a, a huge batch of fermented spider eyes. They're around here somewhere. Let me check this one. Is there any here? No. Any here? No. Any here? I, I, I do believe I had a whole batch of fermented spider eyes already. Let me check again. Either I'm blind or I can't see them at all. It's, it's, it's just that one spider eye. Maybe I left it in the other chest over here outside. Let me just go ahead and check. Nope. I only have a mushroom to make a spider eye, spider eye and the actual spider eye. Well, we can just make ourselves a new batch of it. I don't, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't really doesn't matter to me. So let's get ourselves these spider eyes. Do we have any more? Any in here? Well, we got ourselves a lot over here. And yes, we need some sugar. So let's get ourselves the sugar canes we have around here. Here we go. And make this into sugar. And while so I think that's done cooking, so we might as well make the sugar first. Alright, that's how to make paper. Let's make just four, let's make five, there we go. Let's take these away, now you just want to make the spider eyes. It doesn't matter in what formation it goes in, it can go in whatever formation it wants to. Oops, I need, I need, I need mushrooms, not, not, not gunpowder. And do I need the other ones? Do I need the the what you call it the the brown ones? I think I do need the brown ones. It's already becoming nighttime. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we have any mushrooms anywhere. Hello, oh, mushrooms. I know you're around here somewhere. I mean, we're in a swamp and mostly mushrooms spawn around in these areas. I mean, you got yourself a huge amount of spot. What, what are you doing here? You're like, you, you're not, you're in very much danger, my friend. I mean, there's a, there's a lot of zombies out here. Here we go. It's dropping us some, some of these good old mushrooms. So, we haven't got any, not that much yet, but hopefully we'll get more soon. Come on, give us... Give us a few more. Come on, a little more. Just just a bit. I mean, I really need these mushrooms. Okay, we got three. Oh, here we go. We got, we got enough. You know, we can always plant more humongous mushrooms like those ones. I mean, we got more in this, this, um, on this swamp. So that's all good there. So let's go ahead and get in. And make and try to make these fermented spider eyes. Close this. So let's try that again. Let's see. It's spider eye, sugar, and brown mushroom. Yep, and that's the ingredient to make some fermented spider eyes. Once you after you after you put the nether wart and that's been, that's finished cooking, you want to put in the Ferment spider eyes and just wait until that's done cooking. You will need you you'll get you'll need to get your gunpowder already and pretty much 
you want to get your your pretty much your I don't know, how should I say this your your cooking done correctly, my son. I feel like I'm a cooking show right now. I mean, it, it sounds making potions sounds just like cooking to the juice. And it's after that you should have potions of weakness. Now you can only really drink these, which is pretty useless because you want to throw them at the villagers that are sick. So you want to throw the gunpowder. And I will make it into some throwable weak potions of weakness. So now that that's cooking, let's get ourselves a few apples that I have around here. I recently I, I have a villager right now that trades me apples for a very good price, so that that's good for me. So I got myself three apples for right now. So is this done? Yep. And you only need one potion for uh, it could be an unlimited amount of villagers. Zombie villagers, I mean, you can just throw this in a huge batch of them, have this potion on them, and you just need one potion, you don't need a potion for each one. But what you do need a, po a uh, thing for each person, each zombie is a uh, golden apple, and gold is not easy to find, unless you live near a mesa biome, which I kind of do, I mean, you have to go by horseback, but it's all worth it at the end, and I can easily get more gold, because... The Mesa biome is filled with gold. Like, that's a gold mine right there. And it's literally a gold mine if you didn't know. It's all, it's a gold, there's actually a gold mine in my Mesa biome, and pretty much you go in, and there's a, you'll find gold everywhere, pretty much. Anyways, we got all the supplies needed to heal more villagers. Now, before I, before I heal the villager that I have right now, I wanna go ahead and try to find myself more zombie villagers. You know, this is a whole like that like last episode. Not even trying to do it. Not trying to do it. Not trying to be like last. I'm not really trying to be like last episode. But I guess that's how it's, how it's going. Let's see. And also, I found myself a jungle tree. That's that's also something brand new. I I stumbled into a jungle, but and there were cats, but I didn't want to. I don't wanted to get them because. Then I want to be able to record that and stuff. Anyways, let's look around and see if there's anything around these parts. Well, it doesn't seem there is anything around these parts. I don't see a single villager. You know, I, I'm being. I'm gonna go ahead and try to heal this guy. Just, just to get it over with. I can always make more potions easily. So let's go ahead and heal up, up this this villager right here. So just throw the potion at him, and just there you go. That easy. So let me get get rid of this zombie right here. All right, now I'm just gonna I'm gonna skip into the video until the zombie is healed and stuff. So I'll see you on the other side. Boy, did I get lucky today! I got myself a kettlegrapher. That's exactly what I needed, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in and go and go ahead. Hey, leave my villagers alone. I don't need you disturbing them. I mean, these guys are really trying to get into my my whole villager safe area for to attack them. But ho thankfully, I made it mostly impossible for a zombie to get in there, unless I forget to close the door. But anyway, so I got myself the thing I needed. The, one, the thing he mostly wants is pretty much uh, paper, which is pretty not, which is pretty easy to, for me to get. Anyways, I didn't, know, I didn't, I didn't talk about this in my 1.1 up, update video, but you can. There's a brand new sleeping animation, so pretty much you sleep, and you're you, you just go, you go like that. You go like from up to down, and that's it's a pretty nice feature. I don't, I, I, I've seen it on the console editions, it's a nice, it's an, it's okay future, you don't really, it isn't really needed, but hey, I don't mind it, I mean, I like anime, I like the food animation, but not that, I can, I really do like so let's go ahead and get myself, start making ourselves paper, because that's what the guy wants, we want, we also might want to get ourselves some emeralds, because he's probably gonna want some emeralds, I know he wants, so wants, compasses and stuff so let's go ahead and I think he trades you a compass and then you're gonna give him compass back I do believe so though let's just make ourselves the paper for now so let's see where's our sugar cane here it is oh we already got ourselves a huge amount of paper right here 
but we need a little more paper so let's get ourselves this paper right here and boop 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 oops boop 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 I think that should be enough for the, the band to be happy 45 I think that's enough for one emerald only I mean, it's not it's not the best of deals but then again I, you can easily make paper pretty easily I mean I got a whole farm right here all ready to go to make more paper and let's just get ourselves to our emeralds which we, get, which we have in this ender chest right here we got eight right now because I've been trading and getting stuff you know I'm pretty much the Donald Trump of Minecraft ladies and gents. And let's, let's go ahead and get and get let's get this villager into the vi into the village safe and sound. So let's get ourselves to our get ourselves the minecart which I have in that chest right there. It, this, and I made it impossible for him to escape from here. Now it might seem sad and may seem like slavery, but it's all worth it at the end. And oh, I thought my minecart just disappeared. Look at that. That that looks like it's it, it that looks like it's gone, doesn't it? There's no it doesn't look like there's rail right there and then boop rail. Now this may seem sad and slavery and such, but it's it's for our own good because it's he's gonna be safe this way. And it's uh usually they just move around like that easily. Well, I can get in now because he won't be able to escape this way. So let me go ahead and try to push him, and he should be on his way to the village. So let's go in here, and once I get to the, on the back side of this whole village right here, he should be already in here already. Yup, here he is. Let me break this minecart, and there he is, safe and sound. There's no possibility of him getting hurt right now. Did I close the door? Yup, they're all good, they're all safe and sound. So let's go ahead and go ahead and start trading with this man right here. So let's get ourselves these, get ourselves an emerald, and now, oops, let me just move my mouse over here. There we go. So now we got, we we got, our, now we're gonna change and stuff and whatever, which means he's he's gonna make he's making up brand new d deals with it for us. So now let's go and touch him. Hold on. Now there we go. Now he wants a compass. He wants a compass. Huh, I should have made a compass earlier. It shouldn't take me too long, so let me go ahead and make myself a compass. Let's go ahead and go and get ourselves a compass because he wants a compass. I think we're gonna need some more paper as well sooner or later, so let's just bring ourselves the sugar gain just in case we need it. So let's go and get back to our resource room. You know, I should make a pass through here since I'm always going through here and out of here. And let's just go and open the door and get, get ourselves some redstone. I already got the iron in the inner chest, so that's good. And let's get ourselves the sugar cane, which we have around here somewhere. Or do, or do I already have it on me? Oh, I already have it on me. Sweet. So let's go back out here and get ourselves more of the beautiful, delicious iron which we got a lot of we only need four pieces to make a compass so let's go and make ourselves a compass you know I, I think we should take the whole thing with us just in case we need another compass let's go back in here and let's go ahead and make ourselves a compass so I don't think I have a crafting table in the actual village which I think I should change right now so let's go ahead and make ourselves a um, uh, crafting table. I mean, there we go. Crafting table. Man, my inventory is 100% full now. Sweet. That's how you know you had a good video. I mean, your your whole inventory is pretty full. And let's let's put it not right there. That that seems off touch. Let's put it right here, right beside the magical door of talking or whatever. And let's just eat this. And now let's make ourselves our compass so I'm gonna have to find that the, the actual guy the actual cartographer from all these villagers there's a lot of villagers that are in white so let's get ourselves the compass and that should be it there 
compass 100 percent let's see you're the librarian you're the cartographer for instance let's give you our compass my boy even though it technically already had oh already had a camp compass on me but there you go boy you got yourself a compass now he's doing his magical wizard stuff to get brand new deals. Can I touch you now? Hello? Come back, sir. Come back. Now he wants 10, 10, 10 emeralds for um, an empty map, which I, I actually have enough, which is pretty nice. I mean, I really don't need this map, this empty map. But hey, it's, 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 it could be useful. And now I'm bankrupt because I have zero emeralds right now. But I can always easily get more from this, this shepherd guy or some other guy. Anyways, now he's gonna be he's gonna make us the deals we want. Here we go, the deals we want. So, in order to get it, an ocean explorer map, which takes us to the ocean monument, which is also something. I would like to go to, we'll need 16 emeralds and a compass, which I already have the compass, the emeralds. Oh, we're gonna have to wait on a little bit for that. And for our woodland explorer map, which is which takes us to the woodland, the woodland mansion, we'll need 16 emeralds and a compass. I think I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna go get myself a compass. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself the emeralds after, after the episode. And I'm also gonna go after the mansion first because that's where all the brand new 1.1 mobs are at. But hey, we just look at the time radius. We have run out, uh, run out of time for today's episode. Anyways, if you enjoyed this very awesome episode, what the heck? What? What? What a crazy ending! A, vi a zombie villager attacking me on his horse. Let me let me try to take this guy out. I don't really want to kill the horse because the zombie villagers. There we go. I saved your life. How do you feel now? I'm 100% grateful. Take me wherever you want. Nah, you're a bad horse. You're not that fast. But anyways, uh, try, let me try this again before I get attacked by another baby zombie. That's mostly in the video. I want to thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like if you like the video. This is amazing. Insane. See you later and goodbye.